Hey everyone, I hope you're well. With a new update coming this week and season 2 not long after that, I thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the game files to see what could potentially make its way to Apex Legends in the future. Now, first things first, there's no confirmation any of this will make it into Apex Legends. However, the items I'm about to show you are in the files, so I'd like to share some thoughts on whether these items may make it into the game, and also share some opinions on why an item may or may not make sense in Apex Legends. I'm not going to be talking about Watson or the L-Star because they've been talked about a lot and we know they are likely to come in Season 2. Before we begin, for proof these items are actually from within Apex's game files, you can check out my skin datamine videos. In those videos, I accurately showcase skins before they make their way into the game store, and I've never been wrong with those skins before. So let's jump right in. First up, we have a number of weapons. These weapons include the EPG, the charge rifle, the softball, and the sidewinder. Now, all of these weapons are from previous Titanfall games, but they are all either anti-Titan weapons or explosive weapons. Chances of them coming to Apex Legends? Well, it's hard to say. It makes more sense for Respawn to refresh old Titanfall weapons than it does to create brand new weapons entirely. The entire Apex Legends arsenal is based on Titanfall weapons. The Sidewinder and the Charge Rifle are both anti-Titan weapons, so it would be strange to have them being used against personnel, but not entirely out of the question. The EPG is an anti-infantry grenade launcher, so it's more of a possibility. The Softball is another grenade launcher that is often used against Titans. Ultimately, it's too early to say whether these will make their way into Apex Legends, but we know that Respawn will add more weapons in the future, and these are the only ones in the game files, besides the L-Star right now. One weapon in particular caught my eye, it's the Charge Rifle. Like other weapons already in Apex Legends, when you import it into a 3D modeling program, it comes with all of the Apex attachments connected to it. All other weapons mentioned previously don't do that. Up next we have three utility items, the smoke grenade, the frag drone and the satchel charge. Once again, all of these items have been seen in Titanfall before. There's no real way to know whether any of these items will make it into Apex Legends, but there's a hint at least one of them might. All of the Legends have work in progress animations for Satchel Charge, which would suggest at some point the developers at least tinkered with Satchel Charges in Apex. Next we have two potential abilities, Nomad's Loot Compass and a Time Shift Device. Nomad is a legend we've seen referenced in the game files before and the loot compass could be some kind of unique ability that Nomad has. Unfortunately, there's no physical model for the compass, there are some animations, but they don't work very well on the other legends. Still, it's in the works. Next, the time shift device is interesting to see. This was a device that was featured in one of the Titanfall single player campaign levels. As the name suggests, this time shift device allowed you to travel through time, essentially, so I don't see how that could work in a multiplayer setting. Next we have a number of potential heirloom items. Now some are leftover files and some are simply 3D models for banner cards, so there's no confirmation here. But in the files we do have a Maori club for Gibraltar, a drumstick for lifeline, a combat knife and a large bolo sword. Finally we have a sentry turret and a legendary master skin that hasn't showed up in game yet. What's odd is that this skin actually fits in with the theme of the current season incredibly well. Who knows, maybe we'll see it this week once the patch launches. So that's it, 15 items in Apex Legends that are hiding in the game files. Will these make their way into the game at some point? Who knows, it's possible. Will we see them in Season 2? It's unlikely. But we do have plenty to look forward to, including an evolution to the map, a new legend, a new weapon, much better battle pass rewards, and new weekly and daily challenges. What are your thoughts on the items I've shown you? Do any of these grab your attention? Let me know your thoughts, I'll see you in the comments. Cheerio!